<laughs> okay, so this story is called um, Stinky Roommates, and this chapter looked fun. <laughs> Famished, you begin, spo- you begin spooning the rice into your mouth. It's really good, you tell Gala, who is still seated on the couch arm beside you. However, you are unable to forget the fact that you just witnessed Debbie partially drop a load in her shorts. The stink of her wet fart still hangs heavy in the air, but... You seem to be the only person who knows it. After a few moments, it becomes too much. Debbie, you say, turning to look at the freckle girl, I think you might have pushed a little too hard when you farted before. What do you mean? Debbie asked innocently. Does this smell annoy you? No, I... You feel yourself begin blushing. I think you might have pooped a bit. Too surprised, the black-haired girl just shrugs. I know she says with a smirk. It happens a lot. She wriggles her butt around a bit on the couch. Doesn't bother me, really. The other girls seem completely uninterested in the exchange. Maybe it really is normal for Debbie to poop herself. Clorch. Debbie lifts her stinky butt off the couch again and pushes as hard as she can. Her eyes widen slightly. Instead of a loud fart erupting out of her butt like you expected, the brown bulge at the back of her shorts grows to the size of a grapefruit. Debbie has completely filled her shorts with crap. Ew, Debbie! Lily, Lillian whines. Why do you have to crap yourself? Yeah, Debbie! Gall moans. The two girls are Ah, moans. Two girls are crazy as though Debbie had forgotten to put away their plates or something. If you're going to be that fussy about it, Debbie retorts, I may as well go all out. There's a lot more poop where that came from. She stands up again with a loud squelch, obviously preparing to unleash another stinky turd into her shorts. It's as though the girls have completely forgotten about your existence entirely. You saw as Debbie grunts again, parting her buns beneath her shorts. She seems to be enjoying this a little too much. What 